One of the things we miss is telling the human story. We talk about the brand. We talk about the company did this. Companies don't do things. People do things. I think it's important to put the people in the focus and put the company in the background. So it's not like it's not there, but I want to tell a story of Sam. I don't want to tell the story of testimonial hero. It's Sam doing this makes Sam the hero and people connect with people. They don't connect with companies. So it's important for us to bring those forward in stories. And I love seeing the when, when I see your video testimonials that you guys produce, you have a lot of focus on the human and their success story in the background of the company, which is what people want as a buyer. When I'm looking at it as a prospect, the empathy that I want to feel is that I can do what this person's doing. I can be a hero too. So that's what we want to make sure we don't miss when we capture these stories. And the same thing applies to case studies as well. A lot of case studies tend to be dry because they talk about, you know, your traditional business school format, context, action, result. Great. That's good. But don't leave the human out. Put the human back into the story. And I start most of my case studies with this person is at this role at this company. And here's the challenge that they were trying to solve at the time when they started talking to Trust Radius. And here's how they went and solved that problem. It's a hero's journey. You guys do this in your storytelling as well. And uh, the hero's journey is not just limited to video testimonials and, and marketing. It, it should be applied to all aspects of marketing. That includes how you write your case studies. And that will resonate with your audience, the millennial audience who's looking for more truth, more human marketing, less jargon. That's what kind of brings all your marketing materials to be in unison and really resonate with who you're trying to reach.